morning. It is 5.13 a.m. And I just finished taking pictures to send Dawn. So we're gonna send those to her. And then we're gonna start getting ready. We also have some TikTok content that I wanna film while I'm getting ready. So that's why I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time because touch-ups are at 7.30. So I need to start my makeup ASAP so I can take my good, good time and make sure I'm slayed. Yeah. And this is what the tan is getting. That's the smell of money. Holy magic, don't you? Oh, it smells a dumpster. <laughs> oh, that's the magic of the clip. Oh, thank you. Oh, I forgot. Mm -hmm. You know I was going to jump right on top of you. <laughs> Champion 2020. Wait. Summer Shred 2020. <laughs> All right, let's get this makeup started. Alright, well, I had on an eye filter that I didn't know of. It turned my eyes gray, but I'm not refilming that because we need to get started on makeup. It's almost 5 30. Alrighty, the eyes are done. They're red glitter. My lashes are still drying. And then we have color corrector on. We're about to color match the tan, so I'm gonna make my foundation just a little bit darker. And I'm mixing it on this little thing. That's our darkening agent. That is not dark. <laughs> okay, this is drying fast. It's a good thing I was working fast. Oh, this is gonna bang. This is gonna bang. Wait till I have my concealer. I mean, it is lighter. I'm not gonna lie. But it's not bad. And we haven't even like added bronze. So I'll make sure our bronze a little heavy. But now we're about to go in and actually conceal. And Dawn said make sure I go lighter on the concealer so I can pop on stage. And so I'm gonna go with one of like my regular-ish concealer colors and then this lighter one on top for the pop. You know I put you in your place. You know I try my best to tame it. Over the days of reciprocation, the risk I'm taking with you. Can't put my tongue up on the things I want to say. Tell me why I feel so close but far away. Tell me you this is the final beat. Like it's light, but I don't think it's too light. It'll be fine. This is probably more what it looks like in person right now. Yeah. So y'all see, I added the contour to make it a little darker, to make it match a little better, but it still pops. Yeah. All right, you all are now going in the hands of Deja. We're, we have everything on, so I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Deja, take care of my people. I got y'all. I won't let y'all down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody say hello to the camera. Oh, no. I know, hello. Debbie, don't look. <laughs> Walking up to the competition. No, I'm oh, Debbie, hi, the proud what? <laughs> Summer yes, Shredding 2023. It's me. Okay, yeah. the hands behind the uh, camera. Well. I gotta pass out Tasha's cards to everybody. Okay, are you excited to see Tasha? Uh, I'm very excited to see Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, how do you feel about seeing your sister? How do you feel about seeing your sister today? <laughs> I, I want to see her transformation. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen Tasha. Child, he lying, y'all. Auntie, how do you feel about seeing your niece today? Auntie, come on. How do you feel about seeing your niece today? Miss Angela, how do you feel about seeing Tosh today? I am so excited. I cannot wait to see her. It's been a long journey, and hopefully I'll be up there next year. Period. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm excited about seeing Beyonce today as well. She's gonna do amazing, and I, I'm not, I'm ready. I'm ready for the video. I'm yeah, I want to see the video too. Cause she wouldn't let me see it. So. I'm very excited. I'm so proud <laughs> of her and all the progress she's made. Uh huh. And the confidence she has to show it off. Period. Let's do it. Turn up. Mm -hmm. She's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> and the one and only coach of the year, trainer of the year, Don. How do you feel? I'm feeling great. I'm really looking at this. Maybe not want to eat nothing else. <laughs> let's see the posters. Okay, let's go. Number nine. All right, all right. Yeah, uh huh. Kiana, you on candid camera? Are you excited? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, we can walk. You wanna say anything? Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm her gym buddy. I'm so proud of Tasha. She, her going through her journey has truly inspired. Inspired everybody. Thank you all for being Marlene. What up, gangster? Any words for Natasha? You did great. I was proud of you, baby. Bro, I swear. You did that. She did that. Mom. How do you feel overall, the one who gave birth to her? Oh my God, I'm so proud of her. I'm so happy that you know, she was able to make these strides in life. And I'm so proud of her. Now.
in the meantime, oh God, I'm proud of you, Tasha. I'm recording. I love you. You inspire me. Hey, Tasha's coming, y'all. Um, I've been knowing you since you were a teenager. And I'm about to be like you when I grow up. Okay, yes, sister. Congratulations. You look amazing. I know you work really hard for it. <laughs> you got it. Period. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, we're still it, here. We are still here, but the sign looks phenomenal. Yeah, I'm about to get that for you guys. We are about to go back um, into the competition because they're finally ending the last category, and Tasha oh, has to do cute. a pose off. Yeah, they took you because what she's great. What they don't know is you can only see silhouette. Oh, Teresa oh, talking stuff in the camera. <laughs> But no, Tasha is about to do a polls off, so we gotta go back for finals and see her win. Without further ado, welcome back to the stage, the entire women's transformation! Number 74, Kaylee Cooper. Number 82, Jessica Gonzalez. Number 66, Virginia Granberry. And number 101, Sandeepa. But the top five of every like overall winner for all the shows that they did had the like if they want to they can compete in the championship tomorrow. So their people are gonna be in the crowd. But think about it, their shows were like half a year ago, three months like three months ago. The people who are competing tomorrow. Well, no. If you place today and you want to, you can. 
But I had already, I said, if I happen to place today, I wasn't gonna do tomorrow. Cause you can either, you can either do the championship tomorrow or you can do it up to a year out. Cause to me, unless you're just already cut the heck up, it's almost not fair. The other people got to do their show and have months and weeks to prepare for the championship. You jumping in the next day. So unless you really ready, I don't see the purpose in wasting the money to do it. They didn't do championship last year. So like hypothetically, let's say next April or something, she places she wants to. Yep. Oh, Don Fry. Good. She was recording for us. <laughs> you know her and Auntie Bucky. Ah! Deja Cry? Nobody was sent by me and see so. Show what? Did you cry, Deja? Aww. I did not. It's all right. I'm a Gio. Gotta suck them back in. Tasha, I was, I was too busy yelling. Yeah. I didn't cry. I didn't want to I was too busy screaming. Good morning, y'all. I just want to show y'all this cookie that they gave us backstage just the next day. It's a red velvet and cream cheese cookie from Milk Mustache. Look at how thick this doggone thing is. Oh. Let's try it. Ignore the stains. Y'all saw I wore this yesterday to eat. Mm -hmm. But I gotta take Little Miss Thing to the airport since she just has to leave me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it? Mm-hmm. And it got the chocolate chips in there. Do y'all see the detail? Hold on, let me do the YouTube hands so you can see. I know y'all see the chocolate chips, the cream cheese. Oh my God. I'm a person and it's moist. I like an underdone cookie. I like my cookies boneless. And <laughs> <laughs> I like my desserts extra. You know how, you know the girls that just be like, oh, I'll just take a vanilla cone. No, I want a double chocolate with some Oreo sprinkle dipped in cookie dough. Like I like something extra. Don't be hating on people that just like cookies. Yeah, I'm talking about you because y'all, they, they no, should be like that. No, I think cookies and cream. Don't try it. It's good. And then I got to show y'all taste the Ada's brownies. Ada mm -hmm. made me brownies with Reese's Cups inside. But it's at my sister's house, so this is delish. But let the record show Monday. I'm Well, Monday is tomorrow. Tomorrow, all of this is gone. I'm done. Back at it, yeah. All right, that's all. Bye. I need to give y'all a recap, talk about the show a little bit, and just close out this show day weekend vlog, if you will. Did I tell y'all? I don't know, but I'm just gonna give you a complete recap because I cannot remember what I said. I don't know what days you recorded, but basically, I didn't place in the show, so I have no clue like where I did. I did email somebody from the show to ask if the judges were able to give feedback. I know what my feedback is. Like, I know I need to be leaner, and I know, you know. I just know I need overall improvement, but I was just curious to hear exactly what the judges had to say, like how they felt about my video, stage presence, suit color, walk. I'm just curious to know because after doing that, I had a great time, but it literally went by so fast. And just seeing the fact that I didn't place, I mean, it didn't upset me, but now I'm like, I wanna do it again and I wanna place, like, period. Like, I just wanna get better and do it again so I can see improvement basically dawn says she thinks that i would have been top 20 for sure but we do not know that so i'm just waiting to see if they email back if the judges can give any feedback and if they do by the time i edit this video i'll pop it up on the screen what they said kind of like a synopsis so that's how i feel i literally and even before i got on stage i was telling dawn like i'm happy to be here but now i want to keep like Bef even before the show i was like i'm excited for the show and all but i'm even more excited to reach my 100 pounds down like i'm even more excited to see more definition and to see more fat leaving so i was honestly in that mindset already but now i'm really in that mindset because now i'm like hmm what are the shows going to be for next year and how can i come in completely ripped like i want abs i want visible arm muscles at rest i want visible leg muscles at rest I really just want to take it up a notch and the next time I compete I want to be undeniable 
Mission Undeniable is gonna be the vibes. So I'm super excited. Um, today I did have a good day. I went to Gloria's. If you're in Houston, hope. Well, let me not put too many girls on. Maybe I should gatekeep it, but I already said it. So I love Gloria's, y'all. That is like my favorite little spot. If you just need somewhere to go eat, it's in Midtown and parking is super easy. They have a complimentary valet. You just do tips. I can always get a table. Like you don't have to go there and worry about a crazy wait, worry about trying to find parking. Like it's just super simple. The food is good. The service is great. Their margaritas are strong. Like just A1. And I haven't been to Gloria's in so, so, so long. So today me and my family went to Gloria's and we ate and had a great time. And I had a really good time today. We even went to play pickleball. So I still got active even on my off day or off weekend or whatever you want to call it. So I already literally have my macros for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to weigh in and see like what is given, but honestly, I don't care regardless because I deserved a good day. I call it a day and a quarter because the show ended so late yesterday that I don't even consider that a full two day break because I didn't eat yesterday until about 10 30 PM. But yeah, basically I enjoyed myself and I'm getting back to the grind tomorrow because even though I am not going to be pushing competition hard at all, we want to slow down my progress a little bit, slow down the weight loss, but still keep it going, still build and just continue transforming just because the competition over means absolutely nothing. Like I still have goals completely beyond the competition. So I'm excited to keep going and to reach those and to just see myself become that girl muscle mommy as the young girls say and that's what's gonna be given next year period i'm super excited and i really want to pop that video in here because literally after dawn's competition when we went last year i did a whole recap at the end of that show day vlog and i don't even know if people peaked but i'm gonna pop it in here i literally alluded to the fact that i would be back at summer shredding and i did a little hmm just to kind of hint to y'all, like at that moment, I knew that I wanted to do it next year. Hope you enjoyed seeing the Summer Shredding Classic 2022. Yeah, cause I really enjoyed going and I'm gonna go again next year. <laughs> so I'm super proud that I stuck with my goal and I lost 70 pounds and I freaking did it. That's why the placing is whatever, but proving yourself to be trustworthy is an entirely different win in my book. I've proved to myself that I'm trustworthy of setting a goal, reaching it. I'm trustworthy of disciplining myself to eat what I'm supposed to eat, what I said I'm going to eat, what my coach says I need to eat, and doing it. I've proved myself trustworthy to be able to do a crazy amount of cardio and still survive and just be thriving and basically just all the things, all the things, which is why I'm so proud of myself regardless of any placement. And I feel like I gave the most seamless package that I could have brought this time like hair was tight makeup was tight suit was tight video was tight walk was tight posing was tight shout out Ada I just feel like I gave the most smooth package that I could have done so next year it's just gonna be up to ante next year I'm gonna be ripped no if ands or buts I'm not competing again I don't shout out to the people that compete every year and that's just their thing but i'm not getting back on stage until i'm ripped and that's just that on that that is my thing because you're spending a good amount of money to do this i need to be undeniable so the next time that i prep to step on stage firstly let, let me say this also the next time i prep to step on stage y'all i promise maybe i shouldn't promise but no i promise that I will do a better job at recording and uploading in real time, like a, a week behind from where I am. Because I know that I have recorded all this stuff and haven't edited a thing. And there are literally people like, oh my gosh, have you recorded the journey? And I'm like, yes, girl, I've been recording for like seven weeks, but all of it is still on my camera. So next time I definitely want to be recording and uploading as I'm going through the process. That way it's like, okay, I record the show day and I put out the show day vlog maybe two, three days after show. So it's like y'all can literally follow along the process. But I say all that to say the next time that I record a prep journey, that's going to be the title of the series, Undeniable. Roll to, I don't know, don't give me the lie. But I just know I want Undeniable, undeniable to be in there because 
that is basically what every person that gets on stage wants to be. You want to be undeniable to the judges. You want the judges to just be encaptured by your essence, your physique, your walk, your energy. And so that's exactly what I want next time. Like, I think I did a pretty great job at doing most things in an undeniable manner, but I need the physique to be undeniable next time. So I don't know if they woke up something in me. I'm not gonna say because somebody asked me, they were like, oh, are you a bodybuilder? And I'm like, um, I wouldn't say that, but I did compete in a transformation category. So I wanna get to the point where I feel comfortable to claim the title as a bodybuilder. But right now that is not this time. Anywho, we were backstage for a very long time, but I met some amazing people. Jess is the person that I talked to the most. And I just, I had a great time. I learned some people's stories. I met one girl that lit well one lady that literally we grew up have family in chicago have mutual family friends like it's crazy how small this world is so i had an amazing time i kind of hope that summer shredding and like christian guzman sends out a what is it called a survey to like survey us about how things went what we would like differently because literally my family and friends had great ideas Firstly, we think that transformation should be an entirely different competition because there's so many transformation competitors. I think having that and like wellness, bikini, physique, you know, all the other categories is a lot. And it ended up being a very long day. I will personally woke up at 5 a.m. to do my makeup, went to the tanning at 7.30 a.m., was at the venue around 9.15, no, not 9.15, I was at the venue around 8.15 a.m. Did not leave the venue until 9.30 p.m. or probably something like that. So that was a very, very, very long day. That was a very long day for my family and friends, which is why I really appreciate them for coming and for sticking it out. Because I even told them, the show started at 9 a.m., I told them to get there around 10 p.m. I mean, not 10 p.m., 10 a.m., meaning you can get there at 10 a.m., but if you don't, you still won't be late, you know? And seeing what time I actually went on stage, I literally could have told them to get there at freaking 1 p.m. Like, I felt so bad that they sat there through that because they're not in the bodybuilding world, so it's not even, like, that necessarily interests them. They were literally just there to support me. So that's the only thing. I think sometimes it can make it hard for people to come support you if they're not in the fitness bodybuilding world because it's like... Who wants to watch hours and hours and hours of people that you don't know when it has a potential where they could do it in a way that is a bit shorter, you know? Just a bit more manageable. But I gave them all the, I warned them that it would probably be a minute. Um, I warned them to make sure they eat a full meal, to bring snacks, that type of thing. And that was another thing my best friend brought up that they should have freaking food trucks. Like I get it, this is a health competition, blah, 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 blah. The audience, most of the time, well, there are some people that are on prep and the people that are on prep brought their food. But for the people who are not on prep that literally don't know how long these competitions are, even if they do know, they're not the type that's gonna pack food and bring it with them. I just feel like having the food trucks outside the venue would have been such a great idea because my family and friends were starving. They left, went, got food, had to come back. And it just would have made so much sense to have different food vendors out there. Get like three to four food trucks I think with the amount of people that were there and for the length of time that we were there, they would have paid for themselves because I, I, those food trucks would have sold out of food for sure. Like people were hungry. And the only thing that was there was like protein bars and protein water and protein en energy drinks. You get what I'm saying? So that was some of my feedback, like a separate transformation show. And I honestly, I get that we want people to compete and I'm sure it's very lucrative on their end, like the more the merrier. But I do think there needs to be a number cut off because at some point it's too much, like it's too many. For physique, there were so many classes, y'all. I think there was a physique A through I class, like class A, B, C, D, E, F, D. Like that's a lot. So I do think that for the classes, and maybe it'll give a sense of urgency. Like if you really wanna compete, you're gonna sign up. And even if that means possibly limiting some people's amounts of time that they can do the competition I, I don't know i do feel like there needs to be a bit more like it needs to be a little bit more selective or a little bit more because it was such a long show y'all like such a long show and when i went to dawn's competition they only showed the top 20 videos which cut down a lot of time because 
two video i mean two minute videos for every single competitor we watched well not we because i wasn't in the audience but they watched every single transformation video and i get it we want everybody's story to be told but at the same time i do see the value in having everybody walk taking the best of the walks and the transformation pictures and then choosing a top 20 to show their videos i do see the value in that because showing everybody's video was so long and i think it might push people to be better and to bring like a the best package possible because back when i thought that that's what was going to happen all i kept saying was i just want my family and friends to see my video like if they see my video then i've won but that was before i knew that they were showing every single person's video so i'm not gonna go on with the details because i can literally see that i've been talking for 13 minutes but that is all the feedback that i have for right now if y'all have any specific questions please leave them in the comments because i will definitely talk back and answer them but just know i had a really really good time and like i said i'm very excited to improve to continue to cut lose weight build the physique of my dreams be undeniable all the things get ripped and yeah so i'm just like last year where i was like i will be back and i was excited to see where i was gonna go I'm even more excited now because touching that stage, it happened so fast that I'm like, that can't be it. I need another shot. So, but I will not take that next shot before I'm undeniable. That's the one thing. I don't want to rush it and come in lukewarm or come in like so-so. Like the next time I come in, I want it to be one of those where I'm walking past in my little suit and people are like, yeah i want to walk past you on how you be like wow because i saw some girls that were like that where it's just like wow so mission undeniable is loading and also this is not the end because since it's not the end well a journey never ends but since i am not like five pounds away from my goal weight or since i'm not like at that true maintenance point i will be um what is it called documenting me getting back to a maintenance point cutting some more because i literally i had on my phone the um the countdown for summer shredding and then my lock screen was a picture of me and dawn at her competition but now i literally uh, dang i literally already changed my lock screen to the only stage picture i have right now i'm thirsty to get my professional pictures and videos so i can actually like post about it but i want to wait to do my recap post until i have the good footage so i can look through it and see what the you know professional photographers got because i paid for those pictures so those pictures are going to get shown so i'm not posting anything until i get those which should be sometime this week but i literally already put a new countdown on there 232 days and i titled it journey for 30 and that is because since i'm about 70 pounds down 100 is my next big goal and i have 30 pounds basically give or take until i get there so journey for 30 i think that's plenty of time to lose 30 pounds it is currently october 22nd so november december january february march april may june that's literally eight months eight months is a huge amount of time to lose 30 pounds and granted we are slowing my weight loss down which is perfectly fine but i want to for my birthday i want to be 100 pounds down i want to be stacked up muscled up so now i'm just taking the time to like i said slow things down neutralize things but still press towards my goals so i will find a way i'm trying to decide exactly how i want to format that so y'all let me know if you have any ideas where the, whether you want to see like the weekly weigh-ins whether you want to see things throughout the time like, i don't know whether you want to see monthly vlogs to just re like record things throughout the whole month let you know my start my starting and my ending weight of the month and how much like just let me know let me know if you have any ideas of how you prefer to see that otherwise i'm just gonna do what i want i might do that anyways but i honestly love feedback to help me because i don't know what y'all want so whatever would be most helpful that's what i try to do like what the things that i would want to see so that is everything that i have for you and i hope you all enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching this video if you made it to this point don't forget to like it leave me a comment whether it is a suggestion about like the formats or you have any other questions that i really didn't explain and oh yeah subscribe duh 
subscribe, babe. If you made it this far, we're friends. And friends subscribe to friends. So stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next. Focus on me, unlock potential, potential.